Captain's Log, day number 27 of COVID-19 quarantine. All seems to be going well. Had a lot of time to fix and maintain things around the house. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replace an outlet. All joking aside, I hope that you're staying safe. I hope this all blows over soon and we can get back to a little bit of a normalcy. Hey, what do you think about these mugs? I've got them available on the website. It really helps out the channel. So if you have any interest, go check it out. If you like learning how to fix things, then this is a channel for you. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss a thing. My statistics show that 99% of you watch the videos and aren't subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you. Let's get to the video. Today's gonna be a relatively simple fix. I've got an electrical receptacle or outlet in my office that's not working. I've had a few questions on how to replace them. It's a pretty straightforward process. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. This is the disclaimer. If you're not comfortable around electrical, please don't do this, hire it out. All right, so these are the basics of the tools that you're gonna need. Just a screwdriver, it can be Phillips or flathead, but I find the flathead works better and you're typically gonna need a flathead anyway to get the front plate off. Your new receptacle and a pair of electrical wire uh, pliers. Now, you don't actually need electrical pliers. You could use needle nose pliers, but um, I've posted a link before for these and they work great and it's just nice to have them. I'm gonna link all this stuff in the description below if you wanna go check it out. And then a multimeter, and you don't necessarily need this if you're confident that the power is off but I like to check and verify. They also make a little tool I'll link below that you can just touch it to a wire and it'll tell you whether or not there's power flowing through it. All right, so this is a simple receptacle that we're gonna replace. First thing that you wanna make sure you do is always turn off the power. I'll show you how to verify and make sure that it is actually off because you definitely don't want the power to be on when you do this. So this is what we're actually gonna replace. It's very straightforward. There's not much to it. What you're gonna see is a green grounding screw, that's where your ground wire is gonna attach. And then you have uh, four screws, two on one side, two on the other. And you notice, if you look closely, that one side is silver and the other side is gold. Now these screws on either side are attached to each other, so these two are attached together and these two are attached together. And that what that means is that you could daisy chain several of these together, so you would put your supply line to one of these and then attach the next receptacle in line to the second one. And this, the thing to remember is that the silver is gonna be for your neutral wire, and the gold is gonna be for your hot wire. All right, so testing with the multimeter is actually pretty simple. Uh, just turn it on to uh, volts in this case, and make sure that you are on uh, AC, which is for this one, it's actually defaults to DC. You want it to have this little uh, squiggly line, if I can show you up here in the corner. And then essentially, all you gotta do is put your probes in, and just make sure that you're not getting any voltage. And there you go, you can see that it's showing zero volts. So power's off, we're ready to replace this. Go ahead and remove the front cover. go ahead and remove this outlet. If you want to be safe, again, just to make sure that you are actually making contact, you can uh, touch these connectors here and make sure, again, that you've got no voltage. All right, I'm gonna actually put on the Phillips head. I find it's easier to remove these screws with the Phillips head. straight out. And what you're going to notice is you've got two gold black wire and then your neutral and your ground wire right here. And it's pretty straightforward. I'm literally just going to go ahead and put my flathead screwdriver back in. I find that I can get better leverage on these screws. We'll just pull this wire off. We'll do the same thing with the ground wire wire and there you go and just like that we can go ahead and attach our new one now this is a used one so there's actually a little bit of a wire on this one I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off 
All right, so the one thing that you want to do, make sure that you do, is think about when you go to tighten this screw, how it's going to turn. Because when you tighten this screw, it's going to go to the right. You want to make sure that whenever you put your wires on there, you put them in such a way that it's actually going to tighten, tighten up that wire and not undo it. So for instance, if I were to put this like this, tighten that up, it's going to try to untwist and take this wire off. So I want to make sure when I go to put it on, I'm going to put it on this way. Then I like to take my pliers and pinch this together so that it is actually nice and attached and wrapped around that screw. And I can go ahead and just tighten it down really well. And I'll do the same thing with the neutral side. but definitely not least, the ground wire, same idea. Okay, and then you can just push it all back together, reattach your screws. Keep in mind whenever you're putting these in that you want to Sort of make sure that your outlet is not in there crooked because eh, if you're a perfectionist like me, sometimes I'll notice that and it'll frustrate me. I'll pull the plate off to make sure it's straight up and down. All right, let's go turn on the breaker and we'll make sure it's working all right. Now the, the easiest thing would just be to turn on, plug something in and test it, but I'll go ahead and put in the probes just so you can see what it's gonna look like if you actually have power going on. You can see there it's gonna be somewhere around 110 to 120 volts. All right, so there you have it. It is a pretty straightforward and easy thing to do. You can replace your receptacle. But as I've said before in the past, when working with electric, if you're not comfortable with it, then definitely don't do it. Something like this wouldn't cost that much to have an electrician come out and do it. You don't have to have a permit. You don't have to have a contractor come out and do this for you. Replacing fixtures is something that a homeowner can do or even a handyman can do. So if you're not comfortable, definitely have somebody else come out and do it. But you can see it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward to do. Thanks so much for watching this video. Again, if you like learning how to fix things, then this is the channel for you. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, and I will see you on the next video.